Hey y'all, Melissa here with you today and I am sharing a quick sew that also can make a great gift and you can make them from scraps. And I have a free pattern for these. So today we're making headbands and these are made out of woven fabric with stretch elastic at the base that goes under your head in the back. And as I mentioned, there is a free pattern for these, so check out the link below. It's got all the details for how you can get that as a newsletter subscriber. And then I will meet you back here to sew these up. So once you've visited that link and you've gotten your pattern, for the headband you're going to want to cut out two pieces of fabric. And then the first step is actually going to be to press up the ends three-eighths of an inch. So you want to make sure that the two, when you place these right sides together, that they're precisely even on the ends. But this is going to help us later when we turn this right side out and we need to stitch across those ends and insert the elastic. So go ahead and after you've pressed your ends on each side, put the pieces right sides together, take it over to the sewing machine and we're going to sew with a one quarter inch seam. And you start right on that folded edge and sew across the fold. And at the end, I like to go just to the end and then back stitch. And then do the other side. Once you have sewn the two pieces together, you're going to want to turn this right side out. And I'm going to be using a tube turner for that. Um, if you don't have a tube turner, you can use a safety pin and like hook it into one end and use that to turn it right side out. This tube turner is really handy and I have linked it below. And then once you have your headband turned right side out, you're going to want to press it. It helps to go and kind of pull out the seam edges and roll them and kind of finger press it first before you take an iron to this, just to make sure that you have pulled these out all the way to that seam edge and that there's nothing folded inside. Also note that even though I have made this the same fabric on both sides, if you would like to make a reversible headband, you can definitely do different fabrics on each side. The next step, once you've pressed this, is I've gone ahead and pressed one already and here's what it looks like. You're going to want to top stitch down the two long ends. So to top stitch, I like to move my needle over to the edge of the fabric. And I like to increase my stitch length just a little. So I'm going with a four millimeter length stitch here. So here's what that looks like after it is top stitched. And now with my three different headbands here, I'm gonna be showing you three different ways to put the elastic on them. For this one, I'm just gonna be installing some fold over elastic there. I like this because it's pretty soft and stretchy. Um, for this one, I'm gonna use lace. And for this one, I'm actually gonna use plain elastic and I'm going to cover it. So the first thing you wanna do is, this is six inches of elastic, you want to cut a piece that is two inches wide by an inch longer than your elastic because we're going to scrunch it up on there. And then we want to fold this right sides together and I'm going to sew down the long edge. I'm once again going to use my tube turner to turn this right side out. And then I need to insert the elastic through the tube. So to insert this elastic, I'm going to use this tool. This is called a bodkin and I've linked this below. And the way you use it is you clamp onto the end of the elastic and push the ring down to hold that tight. And then you just thread it through. If you don't have a bodkin, you can also use a safety pin to do this. So once I've got the elastic pulled into the end, I'm going to take this to the sewing machine before I've pulled it out the other end. I'm going to stitch across that so that the elastic doesn't go anywhere. And I'm going to back stitch over it too. 
trim off those extra threads. And now I'll go ahead and pull the other end of the elastic through, take my bodkin off, and I will stitch across this end as well. All right, now I've got kind of a little scrunched piece of fabric with elastic on it. And now I can take the ends and I can push them into the ends, the open ends of my tube. And sometimes it's helpful to use a chopstick or the tool from my tool turner to help push this in. And once I have that in there, I'm going to take this over to the sewing machine. I'm going to stitch across that end to keep it there. And if you have a self-leveling foot, this is usually a good place to use it. If you don't know what that is, or if you have one, if your presser foot has this button on the side, you have one. And I've linked another video below on how to use that. And I like to backstitch across this as well. All right, there we go. That end is done. I'm gonna trim the threads. And then I need to do the same thing to the other end. Make sure you don't twist your elastic as you're putting it into the other end. And there we go. There's headband with method number one. Let's take a look at method number two. I'm just using the lace elastic, so this is super easy. You just need to open up the end here and I'm gonna push some of my lace elastic into that end and sew across just like I did with the other. And then I'll just repeat that process on the other end. The same thing is gonna happen with the fold over elastic that I am using here. I'm gonna open up that end where I've got the raw edges already folded in from before and I will shove my elastic in. So here are what all of these headbands look like finished. Here is the lace one, here's the fold over elastic, and here is the covered elastic. And all three of these can make great gifts. Check out this link if you're interested in seeing another way to make a headband, this time entirely with knit stretch fabric.